friends this is Maisie from Maisie Smells today I'm going to show you how to make salsa and in this salsa I'm going to use some sweet petite peppers jalapenos lemon juice garlic salt and pepper and tomatoes that's all I'm going to use it's very simple salsa but very tasty and I'm going to show you also how to make tacos with ground beef and then use the salsa over the tacos so it's going to be a very short and sweet show but i hope you enjoy it and if you're new to my show please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification button and so whenever i put a recipe out you can get notified thank you for watching let's get started uh, these are the petite, petite papers that i was telling you about they're not spicy they are actually good for a snack also we don't you know you can put cream cheese or dip it in hummus. It's really good by itself without making a salsa with it. But right now I'm going to make a salsa with them. So these are called sweet uh, papers. And then I'm going to use jalapenos. I left the seeds in the jalapeno. But you can, if you don't want it spicy, you can take them out, the, the seeds out. I just roughly chop it and I do the same thing. And then I'm going to use some Roma tomatoes and roughly chopped like this and then we're gonna cook them not like totally cook them but we just cook it for maybe five minutes so it releases all the flavor before we blend it for spiciness and then I'm going to use some garlic and for this garlic you just have this garlic and then you just put like that and easy the skin comes off easily like that and you don't have to um like try to peel like that just press it and then the skin comes off easy so once i'm done chopping i'll be back and show you how i'm going to cook this so now i have chopped everything like just roughly chopped it and i have the pan here heating and I'm going to put this in there. And then just do that. And do you remember on my shopping video, I showed you this olive oil that I bought from Aldi? Today actually I went to Costco and I bought another olive oil but this one is a very good one it's made in Italy and nutritionist approved and only organic extra virgin olive oil I'm going to use on this salsa maybe like two or three cup tablespoon of olive oil then we're gonna add some I have this pink salt that I bought from uh, Sam's pink salt is good for you um, so I'm going to use because it's salsa usually I use kosher salt or sea salt but today I'm going to use pink salt on here and this pan has now jalapenos those petite peppers some garlic some tomatoes it's already looking so colorful and then grind some paper I bought this also from Aldi. Aldi has, you know, a lot of things that are not too pricey, but very good stuff. And so we're gonna stir and make sure everything is mixed in. And maybe wait until everything is tr translucent. <laughs> I dropped the tomato, that's why I'm laughing, guys. <laughs> so then once this is cooked a little bit down cooked down then we're gonna blend it we're gonna add some squeeze some lemon juice in the blender and then we're gonna blend away and I can't wait until I show you the final product result I know there are some people that tasted my uh, uh, salsa you know I have one person that told me they want to drink it because it's so good 
So you could use it in so many things, eat it with chips, eat it with ground beef, eat it with fajitas, anything with eggs. So uh, once this is cooked down, we will be right back. Okay, now we have cooked this for about five minutes and all the flavor is released and it smells so good in here. Today my video grapher is Pitania Hailu, my niece. She's doing that for me and uh, she's she can't wait until she eats this, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I cannot wait. Okay, so now that we are we cook this, we're gonna put this in the you know, some of these papers are escaping. <laughs> And then I'm gonna put this in here. <laughs> yeah. And and then we're gonna just I have some lemon. So I'm gonna use one full lemon and just squeeze. I'm using a strainer because I don't want the seeds to get in. But if you have the lemon squeezer thing, you can use that. Or if you're good grabbing the seeds, that's fine too. You don't have to use a strainer. But I don't want to take the risk of putting a seed in my salsa. And that's good enough. Maybe add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on top before I blend it. And then we're going to blend away. First, we're going to pulse it because... It just got off of the heat, so I don't want it blowing up everywhere. So slowly start pulsing it. Okay, so our salsa is ready, so I'm gonna Put it in a mason jar and you know this can keep in the fridge for a long time and also this is the salsa that we're gonna use on our taco but you can also try it with the chips abby you want to try okay go ahead come in <laughs> mm, 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 mm -hmm. so abby how's that it's excellent i <laughs> it. It, can I try? Uh -huh. The camera girl is trying it now. Yes. It's so good. What did you want to try? Yeah. Come and try. Ooh, ooh, good. Mm. This is the best. Mm. The best, the best. Okay, off camera, you can finish it. <laughs> okay. Take my face. So we're gonna go ahead and continue with the ground beef taco. Here I put some olive oil in my skillet. This is um, a medium skillet. And then this is about two pounds of ground beef. And this is fat free, 90 10, I think, 90% fat free beef ground beef and then i'm gonna cook it a little bit um, and then i'm gonna put some taco seasoning you can make your own taco seasoning i will put a recipe for making taco seasoning later on and then salt and then this is barberry i talked about barberry before uh, in my video when i was making ethiopian lentil stew when you can find barberry uh, anywhere in Ethiopian store and I also put a link for that in my Ethiopian uh, lentil recipe well, there is a link where you can find Burberry but you don't have to use Burberry you can use chili powder or you, the taco seasoning is enough uh, but I want to make the flavor up a little bit so I'm using Burberry and we love to eat spicy but when Burberry is cooked the spice is decreased a little bit so you don't even feel the, the spiciness but you feel the flavor so 
once this is cooked down a little bit maybe get a little brown then we're gonna put some of the seasoning in and then we're gonna put some onion in and some chopped tomatoes in and then that's it it's gonna get done I'm going to put some of the chopped onions this is maybe a medium size of uh, white onion chopped and then mix it in like that I'm gonna put some of the berberi mixture just make it Ethiopian and also taco with and then add some taco seasoning and guess what today is Tuesday and Tuesday taco right tacos on Tuesday yes so we're gonna add some kosher salt here and then just mix well and the salt we can uh, adjust to our test and then I'm gonna add some black pepper That's it. and let this cook for a little bit and then it should be ready soon doesn't this look good already be too delicious it and looks your great it's great yeah so i added some of the chopped tomatoes to the beef and i just let it warm through with the beef and then this is ready to come out so I'm going to take this out in a bowl and I'm going to use the same skillet to warm through my beans and corn and use the same seasoning for this beans and corn so we can serve this as a taco with shredded salad sour cream, some guacamole, some salsa, or also as a burrito bowl. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? And now we're going to add my corn and bean mixture. Just to warm it through and to get the same flavor for that I used for the taco. And use some of the taco seasoning on here and some salt just a little bit because the taco seasoning already has and the barberry also have a salt already so we don't want to salt ourselves out so and let this cook a little bit the corn is frozen non-gmo corn and the beans I got from Costco, it's the organic black beans from Costco. So, it looks like this is cooked through. And then we're going to take this out and then I'll show you how we're going to present it. I'm going to show you uh, how to do it. This is a lettuce, shredded lettuce. You can uh, buy the shredded lettuce in a bag or you can just chop uh, lettuce yourself and then this is how it looks like and then I'm gonna put some of the ground beef right there I'm gonna put some of the corn and the bean mixture on top like that and I have some sour cream if you don't want sour cream you can eliminate that part just a dollop of daisy <laughs> and um, I made some guacamole this guacamole I just mashed it I put some lemon juice 
and some salt and pepper and a little bit of olive oil and made it creamy and then you can do some of that there oh one thing i forgot we can sprinkle some cheese on top of this too like mexican shredded cheese on top of this if you want and then here is my salsa just a little bit of the salsa right there and and dig in where is my fork <laughs> i got the fork right here who wants to try oh good mm. Abby, you want to try this yeah get your own fork or spoon <laughs> It's really good. Dig in. Mm. Yum and nurse. How's that? Okay, you can take it with you. <laughs> take it with you. And then I'm going to do. And then let my clip. And Bitu is going to try later on once she's done with her videography. Yeah, I cannot wait. Yeah. And then. I can make a meal prep with this. I have a, a burrito bowl. This is a, a rice that I bought from Costco. It has brown rice, red quinoa, wild rice. It's organic express, so it's whole grain trio. Instead of using the regular white rice, I just use this and uh, it's healthy. And it has, so I'm going to do that right there and then some of the beef right here and then some of the corn and beans mixture right there And then some shredded lettuce right there. And look at that. And then our salsa right here. And then in the morning, you can put your guacamole and sour cream in a container and take it to work and enjoy. How does that look? Delicious. Perfect. Yes. Thank you for watching my channel. I really appreciate you. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button. And since I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>